Hello, I am Dr. Christy Winters, one half of the Qualitative Election Study of Britain. My colleague, Dr. Edzia Carvalho, and I are very happy to introduce and release the first section of the transcripts from the study. Transcribing, anonymizing, and contextualizing the transcripts takes some time. So what we've done is we're going to do a release of the data. With each new data release, there will be more information added to it. But this current data release represents basically the, the working version of the draft. There are a few areas where the sound drops out where we have to check the audio. But basically, it's probably anywhere between 95 and 97% complete on most of the transcripts. The transcripts are currently provided in .x format, and you can go ahead and access those by going onto the project's blog. The links for that will be in the description box below, and you'll see that there are four transcripts ready for your use. The transcripts also provide information on who participated in each one of the focus groups. So you'll find information on their alias, sex, their age, whether they supported a particular party, what strength if they did support a party, the pre-election focus group they participated in, as well as whether or not they participated in a post-election focus group. In addition, you'll see that the transcripts are organized by the questions that we asked, and we've done this consistently using keywords and a controlled vocabulary across the transcripts. You'll notice each of these transcripts is version 1.0, and our goal will be to get out every single transcript on the 1.0 version. Then we'll go back and we'll add maybe unclear audio that we couldn't catch the first time, spend some more time to recover it, adding in context like laughter, bits of sarcasm if people are using it, or group laughter, those kinds of things to add further context, and that will be happening between now and 2016. We are publishing this data for your use, but of course if you do use it, we'd ask that you attribute it correctly, and to help with that, if you check the how to use this data Word document that's provided on the website. We even give a sample attribution that you can copy and paste and modify to your referencing structure. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to drop us a line on our website. So from me, Dr. Christy Winters, thanks so much for your interest in our data and we hope you find it useful. Bye.